Okay. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Ricardo Pereira card to review. We're taking a look at a card who is five foot nine, high, high work rates, right footed, four star skills, they four star weak foot. So unfortunately, he plays in the same position as the absolute S star tier Cancelo card, but... It's one squad for this card, so pretty cheap, to be honest with you. Uh, In-game player traits, he has the early crosser trait, speed dribbler, team player trait, in-game attributes. Uh, okay. He's right-footed, right? With a high, high work rate, stamina of 94. Okay, it's a solid card, to be fair. With this card, uh, do you give an anchor to it? Probably. Probably give an anchor to it. You can actually potentially use this card as your center mid because his dribbling is really high. This card in game has what body type do you have? Let's see, Ricardo Pereira. Unique body type. Ooh, that's nice actually. Okay, so Ricardo Pereira with a unique body type on an anchor chemistry style will have 97 acceleration, 99 for sprint speed. Basically perfect defense. Basically, or midway through the uh, the uh, 90s when it comes to physicality. Huh. I think it's very fair that they actually made this card um, one team, to be fair. Uh, shooting in game is actually decent for a card that you could potentially use as an actual midfielder if you need to switch that in game. Uh, I actually needed a left back for my Premier League team because I still have that Tanganga card, which pretty outdated even, well, during the time period, not bad, but he got outdated pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, shooting stats are there. Passing stats on the card is pretty solid with a four star weak foot, 95 for composure. Dribbling with a unique body type, definitely in a very good area for this card. Defense going to be essentially perfect, physical, almost perfect. Okay, uh, I'm going to go ahead and unlock the card, and I'll show you guys how we line them up in game. Okay, so we switched around the team a little bit to, just to be able to fit some players here and there. Um, yeah, this should be fine. Uh, the way that we're going to be using Ricardo Pereira in game will be in two different positions. So if you guys haven't checked out the recent 4-1-2-2 video, be sure to do so. Um, we're going to be using him in the left center mid area for now. Uh, Deli Ali, Bruno, Saka, we could switch Saka here, Phil Foden here, and the rest of it will leave as it is. Yeah, the instruction that we're going to have on Ricardo Pereira will just be balanced so that we can test him out on the attack as well as the defense. He is a right-footed player, so maybe we actually get some finesse shots with him outside the 18 if we do go for those bad boys. I do see this card mostly being used as an actual defender, but... Uh, it's a good way to, for me to test him out on the attack and defense. So, yeah, let's go try him out. Hopefully he's a beast. All right, see the dribbling on the ball first. Nothing like crazy special, but it's decent. Okay. Starting off already with a goal. <laughs> Uh, finesse shots. You know what's really funny, man? I don't know if it's because of the... It can't even be the improvements, because he's low 80s. I don't know, finesse shots just recently have been, like, crazy effective. That was really weird. <laughs> oh, that's FIFA Tings right there. Nice, he actually sticks in a foot right there, that's solid. Oh, okay. Okay, not too shabby. Yeah, just testing him out when it comes to the dribbling stuff. Seeing what's up. Good interception there. And control him. Oh, we get the crossbar. Unlucky. Okay, I'm going to switch him into the fullback position now. I'm using him as a midfielder, but he's he's not Cancelo. Like, I'll, I'll tell you that much right now. He's just not a Cancelo card. So the main priority with a card like this is obviously going to be 
like link ups and stuff, right? Because I like this card being released because of the fact that he gives you that link to uh, Jamie Vardy if you guys ended up doing that SBC, right? And Jamie Vardy's pretty good, right? So um, yeah, I just want to see what he's like playing in the actual defensive positions. That's the mechanic in this game. We have to go for the ball roll driven. That's actually a pretty good cross, just too close. So there was a lot of uh, dribbling emphasis over there when he was under pressure. But you do have to be careful of something like that. Yeah, so his dribbling is not like crazy special. There's moments where you feel that like restrictive thing on him. Almost gets that. If I could actually move on the inside there, that would have been fantastic, but I actually could not do it. <laughs> well done. I'm going to actually force this run here. That way I can do this. Nice pass. I had time that. I didn't want to like force the play too much right there. Got Ricardo Pereira on the ball here. Oh, he doesn't have much penalties. 77. You're gonna dive that way? Mind games will he go left side? I know next episode on Dragon Ball Z. Ooh. Oh my god! Oh, almost get the finesse there again. Yeah, so that won't be a problem with this card. Like I said, I don't know. Finesse shots, when you're a certain height and stuff, they work out fine for the most part. To go. That wasn't too bad on the transition speed there. Again, nothing crazy special. All right, we'll take that. You had a feeling you want to pass in that area. <laughs> the audacity. <laughs> I try to tackle from like a distance there, see what would happen. Nicely done. Cool. Nicely done again. You see when I'm dribbling with him, he has that little bit of a pull sometimes. It's not terrible, it's a defender, so it's not a big deal, but um, it's just something that you uh, can see on the card. Well done, well done. Just food for thought, by the way, is uh, if you want to use this card in the right back position, it wouldn't be terrible. You just wouldn't give him a physical boost, right? Because you would give him the shadow chemistry style like that, have 98 acceleration, 99 sprint speed, but then your defense would still be essentially perfect. But then your physical would be on the lower side, right? So, all right, we're going to try him as the stay back right back uh, shadow chemistry style, seven chemistry. We're going to see what's up with that. That's me trying to clear it. He's not going to win the ball in the air, especially if I don't give him a physical boost. Shorter player, right? So. Yep, does well enough there. We'll take that. No, keep it in. Oh. Wow, he actually snatches that right out of the air. Let's go. 
Take that. Le Grand Switch with the weak foot. Okay. Cool beans. That's on me. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Ricardo Pereira SBC. So in regards to how this card performs in game, guys, we gave him the anchor chemistry style to try him out in certain places. Uh, the shooting on the card, honestly, is perfectly fine. He hits long shots really well. His finesse shots come off great if you hit him in like the general area uh, where he can actually score some potential shots. To be fair, this card doesn't need to be on 10 chemistry with an anchor chemistry style. You could totally just give him a shadow and then use him on seven in that defensive position because he still has the high, high work rate to work with in that right back position. So let's say, for instance, you are building a Portuguese team, right? So if we go here, we go to popular Portugal and we go to the let's go to the right back for now, right? So in the right back position, you have Guerrero's card that was an SBC, so that's no longer available. And you have Juan Cancelo, but Juan Cancelo's card is now a left back, and that team of the season is absolutely disgusting. This Ricardo Pereira card does not touch that Cancelo card, right? But in the right back position, you can clearly see that on seven chemistry with a shadow chemistry style for 100k, you cannot go wrong with a card that gives you those Premier League links. Yeah, sometimes you'll lack in the physical, but it is going to be a card that is going to be still usable in the meta of the gameplay and still do a pretty decent job for you because he offers the high, high work rates, four star weak foot, all of that good stuff, right? So that's one comparison take a, to take a look at. Um, if we take a look at the left backs instead, obviously, Juan Cancelo is going to be the better choice. Uh, Nuno Mendes, obviously, a better Portuguese left back as well. If you're looking at it from just the Portuguese perspective, um, he's going to be better too. But you can also see that if you don't get a Juan Cancelo card, there's really not much to work with. Because with Juan Cancelo as well, guys, if you take a look at this bad boy in game, on 7 Chemistry... He still gets absolutely like great boost. So you can use this card on seven chemistry and make that work as well. Like I said, Ricardo Pereira does not touch this team of season Cancelo card. Team of season Cancelo is like an S star tier type card in this game that'll last until the end of the year. He's that good, right? He's just an amazing card. But the SBC being at 100k for the links that you can work with in game, I don't mind, right? Because obviously if you have Jamie Vardy, boom, four, five, one setup, you get that Leicester City link in that area. If you're using this card in the right back position on seven chemistry, shadow chemistry style, you're good to go as well. Again, nothing crazy special of the card, but that's why he's 100K, right? It's not like a Chiellini situation where they drop an absolute crazy card for the price, right? Like he's 109k, but he's insane, right? It's nothing like that. But obviously for the different types of links that you can work with and having Portuguese players in your squad, it's a WSBC for 100k. That's what I think. So uh, yeah, I wish that they, I don't know, maybe gave him like a left foot, you know, maybe gave him a five star weak foot or something like that. I think it would have definitely added a nice variable to the card, but Still a decent SBC to get if you are building those types of teams. So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.